Hey everybody, it's Clear88 here and I'm just making a quick video showing you if the PlayStation Pro is worth it if you're only going to be using a 1080p display. Now I got the PlayStation 4 Pro at launch and I've been using on the 1080p display ever since then so I wanted to make this video to show you how, how I felt and how I kind of got on with it. So the first footage I have here is of Battlefield and this is the uh, one I've noticed immediately on. There's a massive increase to a stable frame rate up to 60 and there's a lot of graphic um, effects that have been added onto it and extra shine to it. The draw distance is obviously a lot better. You can see from there's a lot more smoke and just generally the entire feel of it. Uh, it could be because of the frame rate, that's the most massive thing that I've noticed that there was regular dips on when I played it on the original PlayStation 4. But the increase to frame rate um, on the PlayStation Pro is definitely welcome and it's something that I would have upgraded for alone considering that I play Battlefield a lot but whether it's worth it to you is up to yourself because uh, we all know that it doesn't actually increase the frame rate on other games so there won't be any kind of advantage to anybody over multiplayer games so in that respect you'll have to look into individual games one to what you play I'm only giving Battlefield as examples for what I play so we all know that Uncharted 4, even on the original PlayStation 4, it looked absolutely amazing. And there's not much really different on the PlayStation 4 Pro version. They may say that there's some kind of extra shine to it, but I couldn't really notice it. And I spent a lot of hours on the original one. So this is just, like I said, not much of a benefit here for 1080p owners. It's also the same with the Ratchet and Clank game, um, also a stunning looking game on the original PlayStation 4 and it's still only 1080p, 30 frames per second but I, I think uh, they didn't go into too much detail but there is some extra added effects, maybe it's more stable or a uh, better draw distance or whatever but for me, uh, no difference whatsoever using a 1080p display. Um, while playing the exact same game on the Pro version, so it's, it's exactly as using the same PlayStation 4. The biggest difference that, on the game that I've noticed here is Tomb Raider when you're using a 1080p display. It has graphic options where you can select 1080p 30 frames, 1080p 60, or a 4K that's kind of down sampled. But to be honest, uh, the 1080p 60 frames per second really, really kind of goes to show off. It's the best game that you can show. The, the difference or what the increase of, of a PlayStation 4 Pro would be if you're only going to be using a 1080p display because you have the graphic options to choose from and they also give the most drastic effect to actually gameplay that you can see on the TV itself. So that's a really, really good improvement. So in my opinion, if you're just going to be used at all the time on a 1080p uh, display, there's going to be not much of a difference that you can see in the games that offer that kind of increase are really going to be few and far between. So it's up to your own personal choice on whether you do do it. Of course, the best reason to do it is if you're going to upgrade to a 4K telly in the future. If you know you're going to be there, you may as well get the PlayStation Pro then. Or if you're going to be using PlayStation VR, that makes sense as well because the PlayStation 4 Pro games run better with VR or just VR by itself without the 4K. So my display and my setup was basically this. I was using a 1080p monitor for all my gaming basically and that's what I had the PlayStation 4 Pro connected. But this is my updated display here now with a 40 inch 4K Samsung. I could say I noticed the difference immediately. But I'm hopefully saving for all that kind of details for in a video that I'm actually just making, so that's up and coming. Uh, so basically I think the PlayStation 4 mainly benefits anyone who's planning on getting a 4K TV upgrade very soon or to use PlayStation VR in the future as the benefits to the actual games, the more powerful hardware running PlayStation VR is very much clear. So if you if you have a PlayStation 4 Pro original and you're thinking of the upgrade but you'll still only have a 1080p the TV, it's not really that much of an upgrade. You're not going to see a lot. It's not going to really wow you. There actually is no difference even in the in the menus, barely even in the games. So you're not really going to see any kind of massive benefit. But of course, like I said, it would be a massive benefit if you're planning on using uh, a 4K TV in the future or buying one in the future or with the PlayStation VR. So that just brings me to my last point. I hope that I helped you out. But if you are planning on getting a 4K TV in the future, make sure to research the TV and the brand model. I basically, I had a 4K TV, but I wasn't able to use the PlayStation 4 Pro on it. Uh, that's probably uh, 
something for another video but i just wanted to leave you here with all the kind of details that you have to make sure to check the input lag rating of a tv that's probably the most important thing because a lot of tvs can add post-processing effects that introduce input lag so there's a delay in your movement when you move on the controller to what you see on the screen also another extremely important thing is to make sure that the 4k tv itself would have hdmi 2.0 ports to support 4k at 60 frames per second if any games support that and also if it has hdr and the best make sure that hdr is 10 bit but the 8 bit ones in some older generations can obviously perform a task but just at a le lesser intensity but i just wanted to leave you with those tips like i said you'll find out in another video of exactly why that happened for me so i hope this can make up your mind on the playstation 4 pro um if you're solely going to be using it for a 1080p only display and have no plans to upgrade to playstation v or or a 4k tv in the future i honestly don't think it's that much worth it at all unless you're serious about ma maintaining a better frame rate in some of the games that may be supported but if you are thinking about getting the upgrades even in a year or two i think it's definitely a safe bait the best that the, the playstation 4 pro will be ready and you'll you'll have everything once you do get the devices to complete the kind of setup so thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions feel free to leave some comments i will be active and i'll try to respond to them as much as i can